I'm assuming with the weather the way it is, it's not going to be that busy today. Plus, it's Sunday. So, because it's Sunday, I don't think we're going to have too many issues with crowds. You know, great. That's awesome. Sunday and bad weather. A great day to come to Walt Disney World. I don't know if you guys have ever had this issue, but while wearing flip-flops, walking on wet pavement that has lines painted in it, have you ever noticed how slippery this white painted lines are? I kind of just found out the hard way. Back, back at Walt Disney World, back at Epcot Center. Didn't think it was gonna happen today, especially after last night with the heavy rains we've been getting, but I made it. And so far at least, underneath the entrance of Spaceship Earth, it doesn't look like it's that busy today. Figment seems to be proudly displayed throughout the park for this special event. There's one last building over here I'm gonna show on this daily vlog. Looks like there might be some artwork and stuff in there. This whole place is filled with it. But I wanna go check this out and end this daily vlog because I need to create some content for my almost daily vlog channel. So let's go and see what's inside this building before we head out into the sidewalks. And then I will bid you all a fair adieu. Enjoy. at this. Not too bad. Well, I went in, did a little bit of eating. Pretty good, I'm gonna eat a little bit more. It's like all these little tasty treats. That's all that's around, there's something going on over there. But I came into the park without a shirt on today. I was just wearing my Margaritaville hoodie, but I did get myself an annual pass holder shirt. I'll show you guys once I get back in the truck. Let's do another quick walk around. Whoa, look here. Turn around, camera. Turn around. There you go. Just chilling out. Just hanging out and chilling at the Food and Art Festival. This is gonna be the correct side of the wall. Right, right, what do you say? Right, 
they're like Latino zombies, the Mexican version of The Walking Dead. So bizarre. Pretty much like the Blue Bayou restaurant at Disneyland in California. This Latino restaurant here at Epcot has a ride inside of it. At the Blue Bayou, you get Pirates of the Caribbean. Here you get the Grand Fiesta Tour. You can't come without riding at least one ride, right? It is dark and scary, just like the Blue Bayou restaurant. Checking for any sac human sacrifices to the volcano god. Riding that ride, that's how I learned my Spanish. Anytime I want to learn a different language, I just come to Epcot and ride a ride. Isn't that right? Skull candy, isn't that right? And out we go into the jungles of Mexico. The theming for this restaurant is actually pretty amazing. I mean, look at this. Look at. This is awesome. It's actually one of my favorite buildings at Epcot. It's probably one of my favorite buildings on theme park property. Anyway, let me show you my shirt real fast. So this here is the annual pass holder shirt right there for the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Season one, it's, this is the very first season. So this is the AP shirt on the sleeve here. I believe it probably does have is it on the, would have been, it's not on that sleeve. Maybe there's something on this sleeve. Okay. I'm sure there's something here that says AP. Oh, there is. See? I don't know what it says because I can't look down that far in my arm. But this is the annual pass holder shirt. Season one of this new festival. I kind of hope it goes, it continues on. That's all Epcot's been known for lately is the festivals. The Flower and Garden Festival, the Beer and Wine Festival, or the Food and Wine Festival. I, I, I still call it the Beer and Wine Festival. And now this. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm really happy that they're continuing on with that because they're really not doing too much in ways of new rides or upgrading the theme park itself. It's basically just become one, two, three times a year different kinds of festivals, which is actually okay. It's still one of my favorite theme parks. Look at that cell. That's pretty much basically it for my day at Disney because today's not an actual day off and I do have to go deliver a load and then head up to North Carolina. I just figured I'd pop in here for about one hour and just kind of do a little bit of walking around, grab a quick snack and see what there is going on at Epcot right now. But I think it's time to head back out to the truck and do something really fun. So goodbye, Canada.
Goodbye, very scary bird. Goodbye, world showcase. Goodbye, squirrel. Goodbye, festival of the arts. So until next time, Figment, I shall see you later. Peace out. This is actually it. This is, I thought my phone was ringing. It's not, but this is it. I'm actually going to end today's almost daily vlog. So right here from Epcot Center, right underneath Spaceship Earth, I will talk to you all on the next one. Peace, everybody. Peace.